Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'm going to install an add-on plugin for the Elementor. The name of the plugin is Essential Add-ons for Elementor. This plugin has free as well as premium version. I do have the premium version of this plugin. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the premium version of this plugin. I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium version and we will see which widgets are available in the free version and which widgets are available in the premium version. If you have Elementor website, then you can use this add-on plugin to add some extra widgets in your Elementor website. Let me show you the pricing of this plugin. The premium version of this plugin will cost you $39.98 and in that you will get 80 plus widgets, 10 plus extensions activation on one website. This is for the single website. If you want it for unlimited website, then it will cost you $79.98 and that will be for one year and if you want a lifetime unlimited then that would cost you $199.98. In one of the previous videos I have shown you how to install and use the Elements Kit free and premium Elementor add-on plugin. This is also an add-on plugin for Elementor. In Elements Kit add-on plugin you will get a feature to create header and footer for the Elementor website. If you do not have Elementor Pro plugin then you can use this free plugin Elements Kit Lite to create header and footer in Elementor website. This feature is not available in Essential Add-ons for Elementor plugin. However, there are some other features or other widgets available in this plugin. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can compare both the plugins and then decide which plugin will be suitable for your Elementor website. The pricing of premium Elements Kit plugin is $35.10 and that will be for one website in that you will get 70 plus add-ons, 500 plus ready blocks. I have already published a detailed video. You can watch that video. So let's see how we can install and use the essential add-ons for Elementor plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo website and on this website I have Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin installed. Now let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin and here search for essential add-ons and you will see this plugin essential add-ons for elementor best elementor templates widgets kits and woocommerce builders and this plugin has been installed on more than 2 million wordpress websites so click on install now and click on activate all right so the plugin is installed and it is activated let's refresh it and in the left hand panel you will see the option essential add-ons click on it so we are on the dashboard on the dashboard you will see how many elements are available currently we have 57 elements available and all the 57 elements are active and here you will see 5000 plus ready templates this is another plugin i guess this is the template -ly plugin that you can install let's go to the elements tab here you will see all the elements which are available here we have create your buttons team member now if you do not want any one of these element to be enabled you can simply disable it from here so this element will not be enabled and you won't be able to use it and if you want to disable all then you can disable all from here or enable all right now you will see some elements have lock here so these elements are not available in the free version you will need to get a pro version for this one and the other elements which you see are enabled are available for the free plugin. So here we have post grid, post timeline, data table, advanced data table. Then we have content ticker. For the creative elements, we have countdown, fancy text, filterable, gallery, image accordion, progress bar. Then call to action, pricing table, form style. If, if you have any one of these contact form installed on your WordPress website, then you can integrate the contact form using this add-on plugin. So if you have V forms or Ninja forms, you will get a widget or the element that you can use to show the form on your WordPress website or on any page of your website. Then we have social feeds, Twitter feed is available and the other feeds are for the pro version. Facebook feed is available. However, you will need to generate API keys and after that you can use them on the website then we have documentation elements better docs these are the third party plugins that you will need to install for the woocommerce we have woo product grid 
वो प्रोडक्ट लिस्ट वो चेकआउट एंड वो प्रोडक्ट कंपेयर वो कार्ट वो प्रोडक्ट गैलरी सो ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द फ्री प्लग इन सम ऑफ देम आर अवेलेबल इन द प्रो वर्जन ऑफ द प्लग इन सो लेट्स गो टू वन ऑफ द पेजेस एंड लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन यूज दीज एलिमेंट्स सो आई एल गो टू अबाउट अस पेज हियर दिस इज अ डेमो वेबसाइट अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अबाउट अस पेज scroll down let's add a new section here all right so we have added a new section click on the plus sign and you will see all the elements these are the basic elements so i'm going to minimize them this is for the element of pro then general site so and below that you will see essential add-ons so if you see any widget or the element which has this icon ea that is the part of essential add-on so here we have advanced accordion let's drag it and drop it here and you will see this is the accordion elementor also has accordion option you will see two accordion options here this is the elementor widget and this is the essential add-ons widget if i drag it and drop it here you will see that in this accordion the first element will always remain open so that is i think the drawback of using the elementor accordion If you want the first accordion tab to be closed, then you can use this one, essential add-ons accordion. All right, let's go to another element. Let's try this one, advanced tabs, and you will see three different tabs are here. Now, if you want to customize it, you can simply go to that widget, click on it, and you will see the details that you can, and you will see the settings that you can use to customize these elements. Let's go to content. You will see this is the tab title one. tab title 2 tab title 3 so we have three different tabs here if you want to add you can simply click on plus and you will see new one will be added here edit the content then you can go to that tab change the icon then this is the title you can change it from here and for the content you can change the content from here so whatever content you want to add you can add it here then go to next tab change the icon change the title and then change the content so this is how you can change the content in the tabs same thing for the accordion you can go to that accordion you will see the content settings here you can add the title then add the content and change the icon if you want to customize the style settings you can simply go to the style settings then go to tab style change the color if you want change the size let's change the background color you will see icon color has been changed this is the active Let's change the actual background color. You will see the change in the color is there. All right, so this is how you can change the style settings of any element. This is just like how you use the Elementor plugin. Then we have advanced data table. Let's drag it and drop it here. Uh, this is the table. You can manually add the content in the table. Then we have advanced feature sort. search if you want search you can enable the search option pagination is there you will see the pagination here then data source is static data if you have ninja tables you can connect the ninja tables with this element and it will show the content of the ninja tables here then we have better docs this is a third party plugin then caldera forms caldera forms is not available anymore it is discontinued from the wordpress call to action button less drag it and drop it here and you will see the call to action button go to the settings and from here change the title and the content below that we have a button here you will see the button settings you can change the text of the button go to style settings and from here you can change the style settings All right now let's move on to the next one we have contact form 7 that is for the contact form creative button is there data table we have gone through this dual color heading let's drag it and drop it here you will see dual color here this is the icon you can change the icon from here show icon if you do not want icon you can simply disable it then we have dual color you will see here the first part of the color is here the first part of the text is here and this is the second part example can below that we have the secondary content or the sub text now let's change the style settings here color and typography currently it is set to this color and the subtitle is this one 
then change the color for this one let's try this one all right so you will see dual color title here fancy text all right so you will see some disappearing text is there it is going to change the text this middle text is going to change you will see the prefix text this is the text which is the first part of the content and this is the last part of the content and the middle part of the content is changing continuously you will see first string second string and third string so it is kind of fancy text that you can use these are the settings style one and the style two is for the pro version typing typing speed so you can change the settings from here go to fancy text this is the prefix color and the suffix color and the fancy text style is there let's change the background color for this one and let's change the typography let's make it bigger and let's change the color also so this is how it will look all right let's move on to the next one or right, let's let's see flip box is there all right so this is how it is going to flip so there are different settings you can change the settings let's say flip top Let's move on to the WooCommerce elements. Let's search for the WooCommerce and you will see some elements which are available for the WooCommerce. These are the essential add-ons element. Woo product grid. So it is going to create a grid for the products. And the Woo cart is there. If I drag it and drop it here, it will show the cart. Your cart is currently empty. So if you want to add cart on any page, you can simply use this element. Then we have WooCommerce checkout. Let's drag it and drop it. And you will see this is the checkout page. So if you want to customize the default WooCommerce checkout page, you can use this element. Current layout is default. Then we have two more layouts which are available for the Pro plugin. Order details, you will see the order details here. This is the section for the order details. And it shows enable cart update. So if you have products in the cart, it, you can edit them from checkout page also. Currently, this is just a demo website, so it's not going to show anything here. However, you can customize it and you can create your own checkout page. Coupon, if you want to hide, you can hide or you can show the coupon option here. And payment method is there. Login, customer details. So all the required features are available on this checkout page. So if you want to use it, you can simply use it from here. Let's see which other WooCommerce option is there. We have Woo product carousal. If you want to create a product carousal, you can use this element. Then we have WooCommerce product compare, Woo product gallery and Woo product list. So as I said earlier, I have the premium version. So I'm going to install the premium version. Let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. I have it downloaded. So I'm going to upload the plugin. Click on install now. Click on activate plugin. Let's go to essential add-ons and you will see now I have 99 total elements. So I do have the access to pro elements. You can see that all these widgets are available. I can use all of them now. Apart from the extra widgets, you can also customize them. You will get access to different layouts and the style settings which are available only in the premium version. If I go to extensions here, you will see some extensions are also available. You will see parallax, particles, advanced tooltip, content protection is also available. So we can use these extensions apart from using the extra elements. Custom JS is there, duplicator is there, table of contents is there, cross domain copy paste option is also available. So these are the extensions that we can use. Let's go to tools here and these are the tools, regenerate assets assets embed method and integrations better docs embed press notification x easy jobs these are the plugins that you can integrate with essential add-ons for elements or plugin so you can watch this video about elements kit free and the premium version and then decide which add-on plugin will be better option for your elementor website so if you want to buy essential add-ons for elementor plugin i'll give you the link in the description box if there is any discount coupon code i'll mention that in the description box so that's it for now see you in the next video
Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.